Hi, welcome back to a new lesson. Today is another fine day for science because we will learn about the factory design pattern. Before starting, if you like this video, do not forget to like it and comment what else would you like to see on this channel. And for more content uh, like this, do not forget to subscribe and push the notification button. Let's start. First, you have to know that uh, you can uh, find the written article on my blog. It's in the description, but also you can go to coolprogrammer.com and see it right here. Factory is a creational design pattern that allows you to instantiate objects. It offers you a cleaner way of doing it and it also allows you to actually extend pretty fast. Normally when uh, you create an object you just use the constructor of that class and uh, then you have your instance. But if you have an object that uh, has a lot of parameters and they are also all the same you can use this pattern. I have chosen an example of a furniture factory because we can uh, make the connection with the real world. Let's say a furniture factory comes to you and asks if you can uh, build a program that allows them to create different types of objects. That factory has machines that uh, can create desks, beds and sofas. For now, in the future they may extend and we will see how we can handle it pretty well by using uh, the factory design pattern. Let's take a look at the diagram. The diagram is pretty simple. We have an interface, an interface which in our case is furniture and the concrete implementations, bed, desk, sofa and the furniture factory which is a class that has a static method get furniture and a parameter that uh, gets the furniture type. In our case the furniture factory can be the equivalent of the real world factory. We can imagine that uh, we control the factory by using our code. After uh, we have all the elements then we can uh, start to call it from anywhere in the code. Let's uh, get to the implementation part. First we will start with uh, a package. Let's call it factory and then we would like to create the furniture interface. The furniture interface has only one method and that's the display one. Let's do it. Void display and now we can uh, create the POJOs and those are SOFA which implements furniture Let's implement the method and here because uh, we are not really controlling uh, a physical machine we can print something to the console so we know that uh, our code has been called s out sofa displayed now let's get to the other object which will be bed implements furniture let's do that also and here we want also to print something in the console bed displayed and the last pojo that we want is the desk class which will also implement furniture let's have here something printed into the console desk displayed now before uh, continuing we have to look at the diagram we need the furniture factory which has a static method get furniture and also a furniture type which will be an inu. Let's start doing that. We will uh, first create the enum furniture type and here we will have desk, bed and sofa.
And now the furniture factory class, which will have a method that's public, static, will return furniture, get furniture, and furniture type. And here we have to do the magic. We will have a switch which will verify the furniture type and will uh, return each time the appropriate object. Case bed, we will return new bed. Let's wrap it up. We have a semicolon here. Case desk return new desk case sofa return new sofa and we will also have to return null if no branch is called Right now that would be impossible, but uh, we have to make sure that if someone else uh, adds another value in the enum, the method still returns something. Now, let's get into the main class, which we will create right now. So, main. Let's define the main method and start using our uh, furniture factory. Bed bed equals furniture factory dot get furniture and furniture type dot bed you can have a uh, cast here to bed because it will return uh, a furniture and the compiler doesn't know it's the right uh, object because you can uh, have multiple ones next sofa equals sofa furniture factory dot get furniture and furniture type dot sofa and the last one is desk And furniture factory dot get furniture furniture type dot desk. Let's call the display method for uh, each one of them. If bed is not null, then bed dot display. We have this verification here because the method uh, returns a null in certain cases, and we will get uh, some warnings. Next, if sofa is not null, then sofa dot display. If desk is not null, then desk dot display. Let's run the program and see the result. You can see here the output. Everything is uh, displayed exactly how we want it. And that's the factory design pattern. But before we finish with it, I would like to have two cases here. Because in our case, if we would uh, have created the bed or the desk or the sofa by using the constructor like this new sofa it would have uh, been a lot more simple but let's add some new parameters for the bed class we will add them in the constructor public bed we will just uh, name them as param1 param2 param3 and we will consider that uh, they are what the machine has to receive in order to start 
so string param1 string param2 string param3 and let's define uh, these parameters as attributes this dot param1 equals param1 this dot param2 equals param2 this dot param3 equals param3 and we have one related problem in the creation and let's give some values here aaa bbb C, C, C. Now, if we use uh, the constructor of this class, we would have to give these parameters each time we create an object. Imagine that after six months comes and uh, the company wants these parameters to be modified into something else. And if you called the constructor in 100 places with uh, all these three parameters, you would have to change them in all the places, not only here. So by using this pattern, it would allow you to save some time and also have some clean code that's not prone to error. And the next uh, case that I want to talk about with you is what if the company wants now to start producing a chair. This design pattern allows you to be open for uh, extension but closed for change. Let's try to add another piece of furniture. Right click, new Java class and it would be chair chair which will implement furniture let's print something here chair displayed now we don't have to really change the entire uh, system, we just have to add another element in the furniture type, which will be chair. And also in the furniture factory, we will have another branch, case chair, return new chair. Let's get into our main and call the furniture factory to get a chair. Chair equals, we will need a cast here and furniture factory dot get furniture, furniture type dot chair. And now let's just call display on chair do not forget to check it against null because otherwise you'll get a warning if chair is not null then chair dot display let's run the code and see how it goes chair displayed now you have seen why exactly this design pattern is open for extension but closed for uh, change. That's it for this video. I know I have uh, told you at the beginning but if you liked it and uh, you want more content like this, please subscribe, turn on the notifications and do not forget to comment what else would you like to see on this channel. It can be anything related to programming. Thank you!